Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Shomri and welcome back to my PvP series. So, one of the most important things I've done recently is probably downgrading my client from 1.8 to 1.7.10. I've been playing on this recently. Seems like it's helped out a lot in the PvP aspect because now I can actually block it a lot better. So yeah, not sure how that works out for all you people using 1.7 or 1.8, but I find 1.7 to be better on the... PvP side of things really. So anyway, this episode we're gonna have a 1v1. I wanna try and find a raid in a moment and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I can use some of my kits. Actually, no, I can't right now. So I've been stocking up on armor and I feel like I'm slowly improving at PvP. So I wanna do a bunch of PvP this episode. Been on Badline a lot today doing 1v1s with Gapple PvP. Even found a fight with this guy and he beat me just so I'm slowly improving at that. I've been mainly doing like Kit UHC, Gapple, Kohi on bad lines, things like that to help me slightly improve my PvP skills, which is getting better and better by the day. I'm not the best and I'm not the worst, so it's a lot of fun improving and training. So I've just been doing that a couple hours before this video, video actually, and feel like I'm getting better slowly. Nice party hat skater. Hey, so I am with Scooby Slash up here. There is a Sky Vault. It is unclaimed. If we look at the F map, we have a bunch of claim land very close. It's Decimate's claim land. And if we have a look in these chests, there is a bunch of gear. There's diamond gear, regular diamond gear. There's stacks of diamonds. There's a lot of red gear. I think even in some of these chests, there is some pretty good items like these bows. I'm out of bows, so this is awesome. So yeah, Scooby Slash has hooked us up with this raid, and I think this is great. I'm so thankful. Okay, let's have a look. I think there was some better gear in here too. There's sharp ones, things like that. This is great. Wow, okay, I'm breaking three, and there is also... Some protection three there, so we can do some good things with that. More on breaking three. And we also have a bunch of prop four over here. Looks like the person that owns this base is probably a royal or a treasure. No, probably a legend or a royal. I think a royal rank, because then they can use the tier under them, which is the legend kit. So it seems to be a lot of royal gear here. But even some treasure bows. Is there any sharp fives here? A lot of good swords, actually. You can combine those to make some pretty decent gear. And seems like... There is quite a lot of loot here. I'm actually going to bank some of this myself and also help out some newer people on the server with some of this gear because there is so much here. And obviously, whoever's base this is, as soon as they find it, they are going to be relocating anyway. Actually, some pretty good items there. What do I need? Oh my gosh, there is... Wow, I haven't seen these before. Super cool fireworks. What color are these? What? What is that? <laughs> oh! Um, what is this one for? I know there's Christmas fireworks. I'm not sure what event this one was for. Like America Day or something? No, that's the 4th of July, isn't it? Mm, I'm not sure what these fireworks are from. But yeah, there is a lot of good gear here. We're going to be going through this, sorting it out. As you can see, some pretty good gear. Thank you very much, Scooby Slash, for helping out with this, right? So, our good friend Adnan over here has asked if I could do a base tour today. And I'm over at his base. This is his base. It is called Hybrid. Oh, thank you. He's giving me a bunch of XP bottles. Thank you very much. And as you can see, there is some creep... Creeper-proof... Fuck. There is some creeper-proof protection going on here, which is very nice. Thank you for the regular armor. And there is even a grinder here. Border spawner, it's worth it. That's very cool. The only thing about having a spawner in the F home I found is that if you're just trying to AFK there, it can get very loud and you have to change the sounds. Other than that, it's a very good idea to have a spawner at your base. So it looks like his base looks pretty nice. I like this block here. This is where you come in. To the iPhone, I guess. Chris the boss has found a village in the middle of nowhere. It is unclaimed, and he's actually set up a gift over here. This is very cool. Let's go check this out. Let's see. The gift is hidden somewhere in the village. Follow the path. Hint. Make a wish and toss a coin. Ooh, I like it. This is going to be fun. Let's take a look around. Toss a coin. Toss a coin. What could that be? Make a wish. Toss a coin. The farm has been harvested, though there are still some crops to be harvested within this village. And where would I normally toss a coin into? Would I toss a coin into there? Would I toss a coin into there? Would I toss a coin into the pig? No, not really. Um, I don't think we'd toss a coin into a well, would we? That would be pretty unlucky. I don't think I'd do that. I'm not sure if I'd do that. I'm not sure if it's in here, Chris. Would it be in this thing you're standing next to, Chris? Let's take a look. Whoa, okay, it is in the well. We have located the gift, and now it looks like we have to go through some sort of testing facility to see if we're worthy enough for this gift. Hopefully it doesn't trigger some sort of arrow contraption, and let's see if we're worthy of the gift. Okay, we've made it. Looks like a- whoa! Whoa, haha. <laughs> well done, you have gotten to the gift. Take the diamond blocks if you wish, or press the button to blow this place up. We should probably take the gift first. Though, let's see if we can- if we can make a- make a challenge here. 
I'm gonna hit the button, Chris, and then I'm gonna see how much of the gift I can actually take. Is this kind of rude? What do we have to go for? To go for the best things first. Okay, I think I can do this, Chris. I think I can do this. Oh gosh, Chris, 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 Chris. Hold my hand, hold my hand. Oh no. <gasps> the spawner! I didn't get the spawner. I didn't get the... Oh my gosh, I survived that. Oh no, the zombie spawner is in there. Did the zombie... <laughs> Did this spawner survive? Oh no, I feel bad. That was probably an expensive item, wasn't it? Oh no, he died too. Did he die? Oh, I hope he didn't die. I think he survived. I'm not sure. <laughs> Where was the gift? Where was the gift, Chris? How much TNT was that, you crazy man? I thought that was like two or three TNT. Not a metric ton. Okay. Looks like the gift has been blowing up. Thank you very much, Chris. We got these things from the gift. That is actually exceptionally awesome. You rock, bro. That was awesome. Victoria has been asking for quite some time now to purchase a sharp five sword from someone for 8k. And I've seen no one's really taking up his or her offer, so I'm actually going to do it for them. There we go. That is from the Sky Vault raid earlier in the episode. Raid that from the Sky Vault. And I hope you enjoy that sword, Victoria. And looks like mine is pretty damaged. Oh, they actually sent me $9,000. Thank you so much, Victoria, aka Harry Potter. We have just bid $46,000 on a creep rag. Hopefully we can win the auction. Three, two, one. Did I get it? Yes, I won it for $46,000. I have won a creep rag instead of paying $60,000 store price. So that leaves me on a balance of $232,000. Okay, get this, the guy right behind me just got muted because he spammed me and it was a trap. And the mods are like, dude, you can't do that. So we're gonna give this guy some action right here. Come on, dude. Come on, Tim. Thank you. He was like, 50 times, come check out my creeper spawner gift. I'm like, nah, dude, you keep it, it's fine. I mean, it wasn't a gift, it was a trap. If you wanna see his trap, let's take a look actually. See if we can check this out. I'm gonna put my creeper egg in my inventory just in case we get stuck. This was his trap, I'm not sure if it's claimed. Okay, it's actually claimed. Does he know I'm here? So, I was just gonna get in here and put a creep right down. I'm not sure if there's anything in value. Okay, thought he was trying to hit me then. Okay, anyway, we're just getting out of his trap. Thanks, Tim. I loved you and you tried to trap me, bro. Oh, we gotta put our creep right back. Just before we get into a fight. There we go. Okay, slash feed. Let's have a look. I'm just gonna pot up. Looks like there's plenty of people out in PvP. We also have a 1v1 queued up for later on in the episode. I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, this episode has been a bunch of fun so far. Hey, Tim. Hey, dude. I feel kind of bad. Just don't do that again, please. I love you. I love you. But anyway, we're gonna hop over here and see if we can find anyone to fight. Okay, we have a fight here, I think. I'm just going to pot, because he initiated way too quick. Actually, I'm just gonna gapple, screw it. And yeah, this is Dex Gamer. I've got my sword on me. And we're gonna try and block him away. Can we get this fight? I think it's gonna be a fair match. Someone is spamming my chat. There we go, that is the blockade I've been practicing today right there. I'm not that great at it just yet. I'm getting better. Go somewhere more open. I will take two secs. I'm not sure what that guy's talking about. So this is what I've been trying to perfect today. Oh, oh no. Why are these people coming in? Sorry. Are they fighting me? I don't even know. Get off, please. That guy's dead in a sec. One sec, I'll just kill this guy. Get off the fight, please. Okay, back to Dex. I'm not sure if I can... Am I getting 2v1? I don't even know. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. <laughs> Can I get rid of him? There we go, he's dead. Okay, that guy's fine. Okay, back to Dex. Okay, so yeah, anyway, I've been on bad lane like a lot of today, just practicing Gapple PvP, Kohi, all that sort of stuff. And let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, I should be crit hitting. Ugh. So I'm slowly getting better at PvP. I never said I was like the greatest. I'm not the worst. But yeah, I'm working my way up. And I feel like bad lane is one of the best servers to practice on. And lone wolves, of course. But, like, bad line for, like, 1v1s like that, we converse, like, experienced players really easily. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Okay, he's just gappled too, hasn't he? Oh, he's getting smashed. His armor's not going to last too long. Can we get away from these trees? Okay, I'm just going to hop out here. Oh, no, I got stuck. Okay, cool. Hey. So, yeah. I wasn't very good at block hitting. I practiced a lot today trying to learn the mechanics. Better. Oh no, who's this? Alpha, please get out. Okay, cool. And yeah, like I would just normally just block it and like swing not knowing what I was doing. Now I realize you gotta like get them to hit whilst you're blocked and then you can hit them up in the air and start hitting them back and whatnot. Oh, felt like I was block glitch for that. But yeah, anyway, just been practicing a bit, trying to get better and better. Each time getting a little better as I go. And this guy's having some trouble here. 
Funny part is he initiated the fight. Oh, he's dead. Oh, good fight. So we just picked up a lot of stuff there. What did we get? There's insta heals. I'm gonna try and get up as much armor as possible. Oh, I got glass bottles on me. Can I get these? Uh, let's get right there. Hey, oi, game. Oh, I see how it is. Whoopsie. No, no, I see you in the tree. No, uh oh, oh, oh no. No, no, don't do this to me, guys. Don't do this to me. No, no. No, don't do this, guys. Come on, come on. Oi. I see what you're trying to do in there. Come on, mate. Let me out of the tree. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in that leaf the whole time. How does that even work? Should be able to TP out, shouldn't I? How's he hitting me in the leaf? Help. Help. Oh, no. Wait, I'll get out of this. I'll get out of this. Wait, leave me alone. Here. Alpha. Is that Alpha? Who is that? Dude, get out of there! Stop doing that, you little rude monkey. Come on. I- Am I seriously trapped like this? Help! That's my team! I just said help. Is that like some type of seaweed? Oh my gosh, you guys have saved the day. You guys have saved the day. Don't you dare do it. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Getting out of here with all this gear. I'm not sure if we even got the sword, because that guy came and took it away. So there was a bunch of gear I didn't get to get, but hey. We can TP out now. There we go! Oh my gosh, nearly got trapped by myself. Wow. Awesome. Anyway, that was a good fight right there. The next fight is a 1v1 against the user iVolunteer. This was teed up over the Lone Wolves TeamSpeak, which is ts.lonewolves.net. You can join that TeamSpeak by downloading the TeamSpeak client and joining that IP address. So yeah, I often go on there and we queued up a 1v1. So I hope you enjoy the following clip. And also, if you have any fights or users you want to recommend I do a 1v1 against from Lone Wolves, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will try and tee up that fight. Enjoy. Countdown. Uh, hold on. Just you already potted? Alright, okay. One sec. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Alright. Are you recording this? Uh, probably not in like the team speak. Oh, Alright, I'm potted. Alright. You're three, probably gonna win. Two. One. Two wins, yeah. that's where I got you. I haven't even hit. Oh my gosh, I'm getting Big wrecked. Game. Oh wait, my hunger's out. Oh, keep going, keep going. Wait, what? The armor status allowed. Is armor status allowed? Is what? The f armor status. Armor status. Like the it's mod. A, okay, type slash armor HUD space on. It's a plug armor, into the server. Not armor. <laughs> oh, I didn't even. I didn't even have that on. Crap. <laughs> I don't either, but I don't have a second set, so. Wait, you didn't bring four sets? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Wait, move, guys. Son of a. Who oh, is that kid? I have a home, I don't want. Oh, God, these guys. Lol, this kid thinks by putting a water source on top of his base makes it unraidable. Reggie. Nothing's unraidable. Exactly, every base has his own weakness. User left so. your channel. User entered your channel. You what, mate? User what, disconnected mate? from your channel. Jesus, that's so. Dan, you want to sound? Yeah. Oh, one heart. Oh, Good just... fight. Oh. So, that 1v1 there was just before I actually did all my practice warm up. So, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to leave a like for more. My name is Jeremy. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.